PPP gets the blame for the collapse of the nation's economy. As the president's uh, 60 years of the PDP past government have been devastating for Nigeria with nothing to show for it. And with that start story, the, the president said there is good news that the Buhari federal government is capable of fixing the economy, plans to do its best, but wants Nigerians to do their own part in rebuilding the nation. That's what we'll be dissecting on the program today. It promises to be a very interesting conversation because we shall be having just like in a court of law, a balanced opinion on the program tonight. Many thanks for joining in, everyone. Let's begin by serving you with some of the top political stories that we are following right now. Political radar on Channel Television. Here are your top political stories this time. For accountability and transparency in the fight against corruption, the laws establishing anti-graft agencies must be strengthened. This is according to the Senate President, Dr. Bukola Saraki, while fielding questions from journalists after the Eid prayer at his residence in Ilori. He says a holistic and non-selective approach, devoid of political coloration, must be adopted for tangible results to be recorded in the drive against corruption, especially at this time of recession, when all economic leakages in the country must be plugged. Dr. Saraki says increasing the budget of the agencies and continuous training of officers is important. As a once we bring a political coloration, the fight against corruption, we weaken the fight against corruption. And the Kogi state governor, Yahaya Bello, says all the President Buhari administration needs to get Nigerians out of the current economic recession is patience. Governor Bello is optimistic that things will change for the better and assures the people of the state that his administration will work hard to deliver on promises made. He believes that through the lineup of programs of the state government, over 100,000 youth and women will be empowered. Mr. President Muhammad Buhari is going to lead Nigeria out of this economic doldrum. And you're up to date. Those are your top political stories you need to know. Thank you so much for staying with us, everyone. Well, let's dive into the issues straight away. The prices of virtually any commodity you pick in the market has gone up. Forex is nothing good compared to the Naira. Cement price of, uh, price of rise, even the aviation industry, nothing seems to be working according to plan, especially if you look at what the APC has set out to achieve uh, in the beginning of uh, 2015, when they are campaigning and when they got into office in May. But the good news is that um, the President, Muhammadu Buhari, says that they are doing their best. But he has blamed the nation's woes on what he said was a rot of the PDP government of the past 16 years. He spoke at a prayer ground in Dora, his country home, yesterday. And these are some of the things that he said and we will be staying on tonight. I want Nigerians to realize that um, what this government inherits after 16 years of PDP and eight consecutive governments, there was no savings, no infrastructure is done, no power, no rail, no road, no security. This is what the other party left for Nigerians. And let them see what we have done from Boko Haram to what we are trying to do now with the militants. And we have identified these problems, three of them. Number one, security. You have to secure a country to efficiently manage it. Number two, economy, especially jobs for youth. Number three, fighting corruption, which is very, which is continuous. Now the youth, those that have learned, okay, Central Bank and Ministry of uh, Agriculture have done something about it. Those that, that, that don't have land and they, are, uh, they have been to the university, they are graduates, there is an arrangement made by them under a ministerial uh, committee under the vice president. So really, uh, we have plans, we know what uh, to do, we are doing our best. 
and we want Nigerians to do their best too. Asking Nigerians to do their best. Tonight, we dig uh, deep into the matters that the president has raised and some of the issues thrown up in that speech. Who is responsible for the nation's woes and how to get out of the economy uh, quagmire? Joining me is a member of the Buhari campaign organization media team, Mr. Ayo Oyalawa, joins us from our Buja studio. And here in the Lagos studio is uh, Sir Ken Okolibo, a member of the PDP. He joins me here in the Lagos studio. Many thanks, gentlemen, for joining us. Let's start uh, uh, by looking into what was in the past and what the president says that it is the, uh, the blame of the PDP. You are a member of the PDP. You agree that your party has caused this kind of, uh, this sort of devastation on the nation. No infrastructure no savings, nothing to show for the 16 years of government. Well, um, so it's uh, a bit funny. Why is it a bit funny? Is uh, The president has a lot of people today who are members of the APC that were in the PDP. No, but Mr. Ken, the, 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 the question the is, about your, it is, is, was your, is it true that no, the president apt on the fact that your party, if, if, your party left virtually nothing. No, if, no rail, no good roads, no, 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 no infrastructure on the, the ground, well, no savings. Are those true? Well, the truth about it is that we are very aware that the eight years of Obasanjo, we were, we existed from the Paris Club. The Paris Club was a, a, a body that we're owing over twenty nine billion, or close to twenty nine billion dollars. And Obasanjo and the, the brilliance of Okonjo while well, I was able to exist from that club. And today he owes a lot to Obasanjo, who he served as a minister of petroleum. And you also have to be aware that we had the sovereign, sovereign wealth funds, which the governors as a then kicked against, particularly uh, Governor Rotimi Amichi, who was, the gov who was the chairman of Governors Forum. And by the time Okonjo well, had sounded her alarm, it was already too late. The sovereign, sovereign wealth fund was being disbursed to all the states at a sharing ratio that was determined by the Federal Executive uh, uh, Federal Allocation Committee. What am I saying here? If you remember what the Ore Road used to look like, the Bini Ore Road, one of the things that the minister then, on all complained about was that he did not have the funding. He would have completed it up to the Shagamo Bypass. I'm not trying to make an excuse. What is happening here is that the mind-boggling, maybe corruption cases that have been revealed is being cap cap capitalized on by the uh, presidency let's let's deviate let's not uh, let's not get lost on the issue of corruption let's get not, let's not get lost on the issue of infrastructural development if sanusi who was persecuted by the pdp pdp government so to say can come to say that they should stop the blame game then i mean the president should at this point know that 18 months is enough for night nigerians are hungry Nigerians are tired of hearing about the past government. No, but I mean, uh, there's something that you, my question basically that you yeah. have not answered. I just answered. You're pretty good out of my question. I didn't really good out. No, no, I no, said no, you, did. you said infrastructure. I, said, I gave you an example of the of one road that was very. Key. Is your the rail of the rail of the rail? Was the government of the PDP responsible for the woes that were currently? Uh, uh, I don't agree. That's why I said let's. You didn't GDA agree from, that they, they from, left an economy that is battered. Oh, certainly. The All right. economy so became you battered. Agreed, right? you no, agreed, right? No, no. The From... economy became battered because the truth of it is, while we agree that the price of oil has has fallen in the in the foreign in the foreign market, the, the budget. I've sat on this studio over and over again. The budget, Mr. President, has presented. I said was dead on arrival, and I'm being proved right. Things can still be done to salvage the situation. Mm. I but said that budget was dead on arrival. Have you studied, have you studied, have you studied the graph you know I of have, the economy of Nigeria? We were on 2.1% 2. 2. We GDP okay, when he took over. I will allow you to continue. At the second quarter just, now, we are on minus 2.0. Uh, we'll just a moment. Point just a moment. Zero we need to go on a short break. Yes. And when we return, my guest also in Abuja is there. He's a member of the APC. And we look at these issues and the way forward for the nation. We'll be right back. Join us again.